Hi, I'm Jay Keo. I'm the criminal justice teacher at Spalding High School in Rochester, New Hampshire. Uh, I know we're doing remote learning right now, but I wanted you to see our beautiful school as it has a lot of history to it and is one of the most beautiful schools in the state of New Hampshire. Uh, along with uh, Spalding High School, uh, we just had a multi-million dollar renovation to the Credo Tech Center, which is where my classroom actually is. And I've been teaching here for four years now, teaching criminal justice, and uh, our new building is phenomenal, and I can't wait to get the kids back in there. So now that we've moved to remote learning and we can't be in those beautiful buildings, uh, we've had to move to our home offices and living rooms and, and kitchens and whatnot to, to help teach our children and keep them engaged. Um, I use a few different platforms. Uh, I use Google Classroom, Google Meets, and uh, Cengage MindTap, along with uh, a couple others like Remind and uh, your basic email to help keep the kids engaged. Uh, another thing I like to do that's fun is um, usually on Mondays I'll dress up as somebody weird. You know, my hair grew long and a beard and all that stuff. Uh, so I dress up as somebody weird to uh, keep the kids wanting to come back to see what uh, Mr. Keogh is going to look like on Monday. You know, so I do that to uh, keep it fun. Um, but um, now I'm going to talk about some of the platforms that I use to help keep the kids engaged. One of the platforms that I like to use uh, is Google Meets. Uh, Google Meets is similar to Skype, Facebook, uh, Zoom, which is popular now. Uh, have the kids meet up here every morning, uh, mainly for a check-in, uh, but also to uh, let them know what's expected for that week, that day, uh, what have you. I also give them um, some more uh, intel that I might have gotten from the principal through emails, uh, my director of uh, the CTE, or anything that I might have seen uh, on TV, like when the governor talks, I, I provide input to the, to the kids because I know that they probably are not watching the governor on TV. So I try to give them a little bit of input on that. Um, each of the classes have a, a prescribed time to show up, and I usually get in there about 10 minutes early, so... Uh, the kids that show up a little bit early, I can chat with and see how they're doing, see how they're doing on their other classes, in their other classes, and uh, make sure that they're just doing okay. Um, you know, and just chat with them as a person and not a teacher and uh, see how they're doing um, and, and so forth. And then when everybody gets in there, you know, I take down the attendance and we start class. And uh, one of the platforms I like to use for um, teaching is uh, through the publisher Cengage MindTap. Cengage is the publisher for the books that I use in my class. Um, when I'm in person, I really don't have the kids use a book. You know, I use it as a reference for me uh, to help teach. Um, but I didn't really want the, the students reading out of a book and, and teaching out of the book. Um, now that we're doing remote learning and instruction, um, Cengage was awesome enough to be able to give us the uh, student access to MindTap. Uh, so here is what Cengage looks like for me. Um, I currently have three courses that I teach. Uh, there's, like I mentioned, there's four total, but uh, criminal law and procedure is taught the first semester. So these three courses are what I teach right now. And I have uh, Introduction to Criminal Justice opened up over here on the left screen. Uh, on Mondays, uh, we meet up on Google Meets and we go over, uh, we get into the book and uh, we look at the key terms. Uh, so the students all open up Cengage mind tap at home and we we open up the key terms. I have the student, students uh, read through them uh, one by one and then I uh, help explain what the definition is for the terms that uh, they may not be familiar with. Um, so that's Monday. Uh, Tuesday um, they've been reading over the the weekend Monday Tuesday uh, they've been reading what's in the book um, and on Tuesday, in addition to the key terms, I will go through the book, um, not necessarily page by page, but the stuff that I think is really important for them to learn, 
I make sure that we go through it and I emphasize those, those important areas of that chapter. Uh, and that's what we do on Tuesday uh, through Cengage. Uh, Wednesday, again, we meet on, on Google Meets. And um, this day is a day that they have um, to turn in their three formatives. There's three formatives that I have them do each week to make sure that they're grasping the material. Uh, so through MindTap, we're able to set up three different um, um, formative assessments for them to, to work on. Um, and again, they can do this at any time. You know, they can do this on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. I, I just like to have it done by Wednesday so they have some sort of a deadline uh, to uh, meet and to um, set an expectation for Wednesday. If they don't have it done Wednesday, I, I like to have them come in on Thursday so that we can do some one-on-one -on -one, uh, time in Google Meet to make sure that I can help them with any issues, problems, um, if they're not understanding something, that's the time that I can meet with them. If they have completed all their assignments, their three formatives, they don't need to show up on Thursday. All right? um, and then Friday, we meet up again on, on um, Google Meet and just check in again to make sure that they have a good understanding uh, before the summative test that is due on, on Friday. Uh, and then I'll reopen, or not, I won't reopen, but I will open up the next week on Friday so that the kids that might need a little bit more time to read and prepare for the chapter, they can start working on that uh, after they finish their summative. So that's Cengage MindTap. We're all familiar with Google Classroom. We've been using it for many years in the uh, Spalding High School. And I use it mainly for a, uh, a way to communicate with the students, with their parents, uh, with special, aid, uh, special ed caseworkers, um, to make sure that everybody understands what's expected of the student. Uh, the students generally talk to me every day um, so they are aware of what is expected of them. Um, I use Google Classroom mainly for the folks that I'm not talking to every day uh, that have access to it. Uh, so they know what is expected of their student um, moving forward. Uh, another thing that I use to stay in contact with parents and students is Remind. It's an, it's an app uh, that can be used on your phone, on a computer, what have you to where I can talk to the kids, I can send them a text message saying, you know, um, you know, why weren't you in class today? You know, do you need help with the summative? You know, anything like that, just to touch base with them to make sure that they're doing all right, make sure they understand what's expected of them. Um, during this remote learning instruction, we understand that uh, not every kid is the same, every kid is different. Um, once we move to this type of instruction, um, a lot of lives changed. You know, you got students that are at home uh, caring for their siblings because their parents are still actually working, you know, and so they don't have the same schedule that they used to, 7.30 to 2.15, what have you. Um, they may be making breakfast for their family, their kid and their siblings, you know, and helping them with their classwork. So they might not be getting to their classwork until later on that night. Um, and it might be a couple days before they get to it. So, you know, we as teachers need to be flexible and I am, and I use these different platforms so that they can let me know what's going on in their lives. You know, and I have, I have several students, um, you know, that are taking care of their cousins, uh, their nieces, you know, and their brothers and sisters. Um, and they might not be able to meet in class. Uh, that day. So they let me know. Uh, we have a pretty good communication, you know, I do with my students um, to where they let me know what's going on. And, you know, we're being very flexible during this time. And it's, it's tough for all of us. It's tough for the students. It's tough for the teachers. Uh, we miss seeing our kids. And, you know, at least with Google Meet, I get to see their faces. So in closing, um, the criminal justice program here at Spalding High School is very popular. It's a great program uh, with remote learning instruction. Uh, the students are still being engaged uh, through the different platforms of Google Meets. 
uh, Cengage Mind Tap, Google Classroom, the Remind app, and obviously email. Um, we, we keep the kids engaged. Uh, they have fun. We have fun talking with them. And, um, you know, we understand that not every student is the same and they have different limitations and therefore there's different expectations for each student. Uh, and we try to clarify that with them and make sure that we're setting them up for success. Um, so uh, thank you very much for watching the video and I look forward to hearing from you.